the last video, I asked the question, what is Evernote? And I realised I missed a point, and that is that a lot of people are actually using Evernote to go paperless, which not only makes your life easier to manage, but it saves thousands of trees and helps to plan it too. OK, so let's move on. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Evernote onto your PC. If you're going to use Evernote on the web, then you won't need to install it at the beginning. But in my opinion, you're not going to be using the application to its fullest potential. So what I would do is I would get it onto multiple platforms so that you have access to it at any time you might need to use it. Right, so if I'm going to open up my browser, you can see here um, I have a blank page. So if I type in here www.evernote.com forward slash download. Now the great thing about this is once you click on the return button, um, Evernote recognizes your operating system. In this case, I'm using a Windows system, so it automatically selects the executable for my Windows PC. And what I would then do is select the folder I want to save the executable to and click on the Save button. The executable file will have then been downloaded, and you can see by using um, Google Chrome that it will be displayed in the left-hand part of the screen. To install the executable, what we would do in the case of Windows, I would double click on this executable. Now, I'm not going to do that here because I've already installed Evernote on my PC. And what would happen then is you would go through the installation process. It only takes a few minutes. What you do is you just follow the steps. Once um, Evernote is installed on your computer, then you will find it displayed in the start menu. For Apple Mac users, I believe, I'm not an Apple Mac user, unfortunately, but I believe what you do is you take the executable and you drag it onto the Applications folder. I hope that's demonstrated how easy it is to get Evernote onto your computer. In the next video, I'm going to take you around the Evernote home screen. So what I suggest is what you might want to do before then is to open up Evernote and create an account for yourself.